video but my room's a little dirty and I don't like to stop it so let's just see if we can change that mm. yeah it's a little better now I've got to keep the merch up <laughs> not really merch but go to promote that's what this is all about you know? promote everything stuff like that well I guess let's get on the topic for today's video so you got your first few weeks of college you know uh, you don't really know what's going to be going on. You're probably excited, probably scared in some ways too. And to be honest, that's fun. I was really excited for college. Like probably too excited. Like a year before, like a year before I even like figured out where I was going, I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me go. But you know, that's just how I was. So probably a lot of you are like, what's going to be going on? Some like easy things to figure out, you know, nothing too bad. Uh, so first thing all we got to get figured out is what is today? Because I want to tell you exactly how many days there are until you get to come to campus. Well, majority of you, especially new freshmen. If you do a sport, you may get to go early like I do, but not everyone does. So the, today's date is July 7th, 2021. You have 39 days until moving day. Because it's August 15th, which is that movement day. And to be honest, that's a great point to start to the video. So let's figure this out. Let's see what, what would you be doing the first day you're on campus? Well, like most, you'll have to drive how many hours or so many even minutes just to get to campus. Easy. But then you start realizing that you got an email that told you to go in a specific way. So you go in that way for the campus. You, you're probably going to be like in a big line. Waiting to get into the dorm, especially if we're doing it all in one day, which it looks like. You're going to have all these people here and just many these cars just waiting as you're waiting to get your stuff out. After 15 minutes or 30 minutes, you'll get to the dorm, whichever dorm you're going to, boys or girls. And they'll let you into the parking lot after there's a face space open. So, you know, you get there. Well, you're going to have to make this quick. Just out of courtesy. You get all the stuff that you need. Well, not all your stuff you need, but everything you brought. And you take it up to your room and you just throw it down. That's what I did. Maybe some people aren't like me, but I did that. It made it easy. Well, then my parents helped me take all the stuff up there. We said our goodbyes. I let them go on, you know, love you, talk to you later kind of stuff. And that was it. Um, the first day, I guess I really didn't do touch. We parked, we took my car down and parked it, but then I went to my room. I worked on all that stuff. I cleaned, not really cleaned. I organized all the stuff I had. I started putting in and then actually one of my roommates had already came in and started getting his stuff done, which was awesome. Cause like that was one less person I had that we had to like work around while putting stuff up. But then my other roommate came and he brought all his family in and he, and they're like putting up his stuff. And I was like, Oh goodness. I need to get out of the way. <laughs> so I like sit out of the way just a little bit while he, they put their stuff together. I had most of my stuff up, you know, bedding, most of my clothes. Uh, you know, it wasn't bad. So day one is really not a bad situation. Nothing hard. Remember, it's August 15th. You're, this is actually a great opportunity that day to figure out some small things. You know, everyone's moving into their dorms. There's probably a lot of freshmen on your floor or something like that. So just go up to them and make friends. Well, after you do that, you know, you get an idea. You need to figure out when, like, things on campus are going to be open. Uh, a lot of people start out in the den, and most of them will stay in the den a lot until they figure out what Irma's is and concession is. Nothing to roast on the den. That's our cafeteria, if you don't know. We call it the den. Uh, but Irma's makes pretty good food. It's open from, like, if I have this right, either 8 to 4 or 9 to 4. Eh, fairly good times. They could be open longer. They would have more of my business if they were. 
probably a good thing, but you know, I think I have a hair poofy. Can't let that in there, and it's still poofy. There's you some humor. Well, then you got the other plus. Just jump back on trap real quick. You got concession. Concession is usually open from, if I remember right, like 5.30 till 9 o'clock. And I don't know how we're doing this thing called meal exchanges where instead of going to a DN, you can go to one of these two places or both in one day and just get a free meal there. Granted, you have to like have specific things with it, but hey, it's nice. I would recommend it every chance you get. Something else you should think about is like, uh, you need to figure out when DN hours are. Uh, last year, they usually last like an hour and a half every time they're open. They're open three times a day. Uh, seven fifteen till eight thirty was probably the biggest time to be for them to be open. That's breakfast. Lunch was twelve thirty, no, eleven thirty, eleven thirty to one o'clock, and din dinner was from five o'clock to seven o'clock. So you know you get those things throughout the first day. You'll probably get adjusted. Um, if you make any friends on there, that's like upperclassmen. The first day and the second day would be great, great times to figure out where your classes are. You don't want to be pa panicking on your first day of classes. All right, so let's fast forward. You spend the night. You hopefully are comfortable and used, got used to it the first night. Got your air or your heat put right where you want it. And now it's day two. Day two, it's August 16th. You got registration. Determine what which uh, level you're in, you know, freshman, sophomore, and all that. You'll go to the main gym, which is in Perry, not the auxiliary gym, which is on the second floor, but on the first floor. You'll go there. You're going to, like, sign some papers, get your license, not your license, your student ID made. Uh, interesting about license, you're going to need it if you brought a car. You're going to need, you know, your car model and make and all those beautiful things to register your car. Uh, like I said, most of you, if you're a freshman, you're probably be in Z. If you're a sophomore, you may get into X or C, mostly X. And that's about what you do on the second day. You can do definitely little little things around campus to do. You know, nothing big. You're just getting to know what's going on. On the seventeenth, that is going to be your first day of classes. We most of us dread it, you know. We want to go over and have a good time, but then you got classes that come up. Yeah, not fun, but you know, it's it, it's worth it. Uh, you go to your first classes. This will be your Tuesday classes, so you're gonna have two days of each day. Tuesday you'll have, you know, not many classes. Wednesday, Friday you'll probably have more. Thursday will be easy again. Um, make the best of it. Those first first days. They're golden because you don't do anything in class. Enjoy them. Make it make a memento. Take a picture, if anything, just so you can remember it. It's not hard. <laughs> It'd be beautiful. You know, something to remember everything by. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is just make friends while you're out on this. You know, this is a new chapter in your life. You don't have a lot of old people that you used to have in it, and it's not a bad thing, you know? It's actually cool that you get to restart in a way, you know? So make all the friends you want. Go around. Talk to everyone. Talk to people that do have or that do have a significant other. You don't know when they're going to break up. You didn't hear that from me. I'm just saying. <laughs> don't go. But, like, seriously, go look. Get to meet people. Just enjoy your time on campus, you know? And I really wish you the best of luck. I'm trying to think of some more video ideas. It's not coming along the best as I thought it would. So, if you have ideas, I will take every one of them. I, if you want me to make a part two to the video, I'll make it because I like it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I do want to do a dorm like a like a dorm beforehand video. I just gotta get some people back at campus because you know you got friends everywhere. Like I said, I made friends. You go, I'll get some videos and stuff and see if I can like send put them on here, get you guys to see what's up and what these rooms are gonna look like. Uh, thankfully, people in, in Herman's gonna have new beds. Some of the boys in the boys' dorms will have new beds. 
I really hope my room doesn't because I loved how it was last time. But, you know, we roll with it. So, as always, guys, you have a God bless day. I hope this ain't edited too bad. <laughs> you have a great day. God bless you. And love you guys. Spinning like I can't stop thinking about it every night and I just